Hi there, I'm Kyle Kennedy, the Hemp Product Specialist for Shivers Manufacturing. Today, I'd like to give you an operational overview of our biomass dryers. Once harvested, the material is then loaded into the bin through either the side loading door or through the top. From there, the auger and tines will work in conjunction to spread and level the material across the drying floor. Once you have an even layer of material across the drying floor, you can start the drying process. Go to your command center, flip the on switch, and use the dial to select minimum, maximum, and target temperature, and make sure all temperatures are the same. Inside the humidity reader box, a display shows the ambient temperature and humidity, as well as the temperature and humidity above the material. This information enables you to quantify drying efficiency and acts as an indicator for when you may need to stir or unload. This data is then transmitted via the link, enabling you to monitor these conditions remotely. Once you've set your target temperature, it's time to turn on your fan and burner. Simply flip the on switches, and for an LP burner, it's important to monitor your vaporizer temperatures. You can monitor your vaporizer temperatures through this probe and adjust the vaporizer by pushing it in to heat it up or pulling it out to cool it down. It's also important to manage your gas pressure. If your gas pressure is too low, you will not be able to reach your target temperature. And if it's too high, you will not be able to maintain your target temperature. To power the control panel, turn the switch to on and then push the reset button. In case of an emergency, push the emergency stop button. After a period of time, it's important to stir the material to break up any air channels that may have formed throughout the drying process. To stir, go to your control panel and adjust your variable frequency drives to your desired settings. Typically, the auger is moved up and out of the way with the linear actuator. Use the jack screw to lower the tines into the material. For stirring, I like to set the tines in forward rotation, and then the tractors slowly pull the tines around the bin. Once you've reached your desired moisture content, you can begin the unloading process. To unload, lower the auger into the material using the linear actuator, and then use it to bring the material towards the center of the bin, where it is then dropped through the unloading doors and either into a bag or onto a conveyor and ready for the next process. And there you have it. The drying process is over and the material is ready for long-term storage. For more information, visit shivers.com slash hemp.